Dunn's future remains unclear after LSU's recent title win. Social media sensation Olivia Dunn has taken to Instagram to celebrate one of her beloved teammates' birthday. LSU senior Dunn, 21, congratulated Tigers junior K.J. Johnson on her big day with a glamorous throwback photo. In the snap shared to Dunn's Instagram stories, the two posed together in front of the LSU logo, wearing the team's purple and gold leotards. Bay Batty, Dunn captioned the snap along with swan and black heart emojis. The two may have just enjoyed their last season together, with Dunn yet to decide where her future lies with just one season of eligibility remaining. If Dunn opts not to return, she'll have gone out with a bang after the Tigers won their first ever NCAA title in Texas last month. The win definitely makes me want to come back, but I haven't quite thought about it completely. She recently admitted on NBC's Today. I'll probably be thinking about it for the rest of my life, Dunn said of their unforgettable experience. But it seems that regardless of whether she returns to Baton Rouge or not, she will continue to earn a pretty penny off of the profile she's built during her collegiate career. The second highest earning student athlete in the nation, behind only Colorado quarterback Shedder Sanders, Dunn had an annual value estimated to be worth $3.9 million, according to On3. Her impressive earnings have come via numerous name, image, and likeness deals, signed as a result of her substantial online fame. With 13.2 million followers across all platforms, Dunn has signed deals with brands including Nautica, Motorola, ESPN, and most recently, Passes. This latest multi-million deal was first reported by Forbes. Passes assist creators in creating revenue via exclusive content offered to fans. Passes allows me to monetize my creativity and expertise in ways that were previously unavailable to college athletes, which is why I'm so excited to be partnering with them, Dunn explained. This collaboration marks Passes' first NIL deal, while Dunn continues to debate her future, her boyfriend and MLB prodigy Paul Skeens is already knee-deep in his post-LSU career. A college World Series champion with the Tigers, Skeens was drafted first overall by the Pittsburgh Pirates last year and is still awaiting his major league debut after a red short start to this season for their AAA affiliate. Speaking recently at a Raising Canes in Louisiana, Dunn said she hoped Skeens would make his debut for the Pirates soon, as per TMC. He's a great guy, and we support each other through everything. He definitely makes me a better person. Olivia Dunn joins Taylor Swift TikTok trend, referencing Asylum to Recount Experiences of USA Gymnastics Texas Abuse Ranch, where Larry Nassar preyed on victims, including Simone Biles. LSU gymnast Olivia Dunn appeared to describe the camp where former USA gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser abused the team's athletes as an asylum in a TikTok post. More than 100 athletes, including gold medal winners Simone Biles and Allie Raceman, say they were sexually abused by Nasser at the Caroli Ranch in Huntsville, Texas. Dunn was a member of the junior national team that trained at the Texas camp under the USA Gymnastics Program. The collegiate gymnast, who boasts 8 million followers on TikTok, referenced the ranch in a recent post, branding it an asylum. Using a TikTok trend to Taylor Swift's song, Who's Afraid of Little Old Me? Off the singer's latest album, Dunn shared a series of photos of the Corollius camp. The trend, which has been circulating on the platform in the two weeks since the album was released, uses the lyric, You wouldn't last an hour in the asylum where they raised me. Dunn has previously touched upon the USA gymnastics training camp and the scandals that occurred at the ranch. I would leave my family for a week every year to go to the USA training camp, which obviously had terrible scandals, and that whole environment was not so good she said in an interview on the Full Send podcast last year. 
I was on the USA national team there. I decided when I was 16. USA Gymnastics fell apart while I was in that program, and I was like, I'm just going to be happy, keep my full ride to LSU. More than 150 gymnasts were abused by Nassar, the former national team doctor, during his 30-year career. Nassar admitted to sexually assaulting the athletes when he worked at Michigan State University and USA Gymnastics. The doctor also admitted to possessing child pornography, and more than 100 women sought over $1 billion from the federal government for the FBI's failure to stop him. He was sentenced in federal court in 2017 to 60 years in prison on charges of possessing child sex abuse material. The following year, Nasser was sentenced to up to 175 years and up to 125 years, respectively, in two separate Michigan courts for molesting female gymnasts under his care. In 2018, USA Gymnastics terminated its agreement with the Caroli coaches camp after the abuse was uncovered in an investigation. Last week, the U.S. Justice Department announced a $138.7 million settlement Tuesday with more than 100 people who accused the FBI of grossly mishandling allegations of sexual assault against Nassar in 2015 and 2016, a critical time gap that allowed the sports doctor to continue to prey on victims before his arrest. When combined with other settlements, $1 billion now has been set aside by various organizations to compensate hundreds of women who said Nassar assaulted them under the guise of treatment for sports injuries. Simone Biles publicly broke her silence in January 2018, revealing in a powerful tweet that she was one of Nassar's victims. In her statement, she also shared her heartbreak over having to continue to train at Caroli Ranch, the former USA Gymnastics National Training Center, where she and other gymnasts were abused by the disgraced doctor. It took me a long time to write that, probably a couple of days, because every time I would go to write, I would start bawling and I couldn't get through it, she said. Shortly after Simone's tweet, USA Gymnastics shut down the ranch in Central Texas, owned by former coaches Bela and Martha Caroli, and the gymnast realized she could use her platform to advocate for others. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, JaxyN24. Thank you for watching.